299 frogs wake up. Wow, this is exciting. 999 frogs wake up. Spring has arrived. Mother frog was the first to wake up. She caught her froglets. It's spring, wake up everyone. One froglet popped up, the other poked its head out of the ground. Pop, pop, pop. There were 999 brothers and sisters. It's a good book. One, two, three, mother frog counted. But no matter how many times she counted, she could only find 998 froglets. That's strange, she said. Then suddenly, the sound of a snoring caught her ear. Zzz, zzz, zzz. It's your big brother, called Mother Frog. He's still asleep. What a sleepy head, said the froglets with a giggle. Mother Frog called out to Big Brother, wake up, sleepy head. Big Brother finally woke up. Good morning, Big Brother, said Mother Frog and froglets. Oh, hi, good morning, said Big Brother, still a little sleepy. Just then, they heard snoring again. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Who is that, they cried. Someone else is still sleeping? I'll wake him up, said Big Brother. He, hey, sleepyhead, it's time to wake up. What, what happened, said a voice. Then suddenly, an old turtle popped his head out of the ground and asked, did I miss spring again? No, the cherry trees are still blossoming, blossoming, answered the froglets. The old turtle looked up the blossoming cherry tree and said, oh, it's so beautiful. I always oversleep and miss seeing the flowers, but this year I awake on time. Thank you. Big brother was happy to hear the turtle's words. Just then the froglet said, over here, it's another sleepy head. Who could that be, asked Big Brother. He lifted the stone and saw a lizard sleeping soundly. Wake up, sleepyhead, said Big Brother. Wake up, it's springtime. The lizard woke up and climbed onto a stone. Oh, I feel the warm on my stomach. Surely spring has arrived, he said dreamily, closing her eyes. She said dreamily, close her eyes. The 999 brothers and sisters closed their eyes for a moment as well. Then Big Brother said, I have an idea. Let's find more sleepy heads. Yes, let's go looking, said the younger brothers and sisters. Over here, Big Brother, there are lots of sleepy heads under these leaves called the froglets. Big Brother lifted the leaves and saw ladybugs sleeping all together. That's a lot of sleepy heads, he said. Wake up, spring is here, called the froglets in chorus. The ladybugs began to wiggle and wake up. Spring is here. I'm hungry. Have the flowers blossomed yet? The, the flowers are field, the flowering fields are delicious. Let's go and see. The ladybugs flew away in search of flowers. The 999 brothers and sisters kept looking for sleepy heads. Sleepy heads, where are you? Suddenly they heard a loud snoring. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Over here, the sleepy head said, must be in a hole. Wake up, sleepyhead, they said. But the sleepyhead would not wake up. Zzz, zzz, zzz. This is a very tired sleepyhead, said Big Brother. Then he climbed down in the hole and pulled up saying, you must wake up now. Ooh, said the sleepyhead. Big Brother was getting upset. Let's pull him out of the hole. Yeah, said the froglets. They all helped Big Brother. Heave ho, heave ho, they cried. Pop, it's a big snake, cried the 999 brothers and sisters. Mother Frog heard the cry of the froglet. She saw them standing perfectly still in front of the sleepy snake. Big Brother trembled. Soon the snake woke up and said, hmm, <laughs> it's time for a nice meal. Not yet, you can sleep some more. We'll wake you up when your breakfast is ready, said Frog as she gently, uh, soothing, the ba <laughs> gently soothing a baby. Then the snake cooled up and went back to sleep. That was close. What a relief, said the 999 brothers and sisters, jumping for joy again. Okay, everyone make a line. I wanna make sure that everyone is safe. One, two, three, 
don't move, but no matter how many times she counted, she can only find 998 froglets. Big Brother was missing. Big Brother was just taking a nap. It had been a very busy morning. The end.